As K-drama lovers, we're not only interested in new series but also pay great attention to stories and dramas revolving around famous actors and actresses, especially their love life. So, let's start the video today with some breaking news related to the hottest faces in the K-drama world in the first month of the year. Number 1. Song Jong Ki suddenly announced his marriage. This is probably the hottest news that shook the whole Korean entertainment industry yesterday. Around December 2022, we only received information that Song Jong Ki was in a relationship with his British girlfriend through pictures taken by fans at the airport. Less than two months later, we received information that the actor will be getting married to his girlfriend through a letter he directly sent to fans. Hello, this is Jong Ki. Today, I am greeting you because I want to share a promise that is more happy and valuable to me than anything. I have promised to continue life together with Katie Louise Saunders, who has been by my side supporting me and who I have spent valuable time with while cherishing each other. She has a kind heart, and she has lived her life passionately. She is a sensible and amazing person to the point that I revere her. Thanks to her, I am becoming a better person. We naturally dreamed of creating a happy family together. We have put in much effort to keep each other's promises, and we are sincerely thankful as a new life has come to us. And today, based on our deep trust and love for each other, we are on our way back from registering our marriage to begin life as a married couple. As we are now, the two of us will walk our days ahead beautifully while facing the same direction. According to Dispatch, yesterday was the day Song Jong Ki and Katie registered their marriage and officially became legal husband and wife. It is known that Katie is also pregnant with Song Jong Ki's first child. In fact, this has long been suspected by netizens since the image of the couple at the airport were revealed in which Katie wore quite large and comfortable outfits, making everyone believe she was pregnant. Not only that, she even accidentally revealed the engagement ring when covering her chest with her hand. It is known that Jong Ki and Katie have been living together in a villa in the Hanum neighborhood, Seoul since last spring. They also reported that Jong Ki even invited Katie's parents to Korea after she became pregnant to live together in a house worth 20 billion won, about 16 million United States dollars. In response to the report, Song Junkie's agency, Hi Zium Studio, briefly commented that it is difficult to confirm this information as it is the actor's private life. They also added, the wedding ceremony will be held separately, but no specific decision has been made yet. The two will be spending their newlywed lives back and forth between Korea and the UK. Regarding this, while most people congratulated Song Jong Ki on finding new happiness after the previous broken marriage, especially when he was about to welcome his first child with his wife, some others expressed displeasure about this, saying that Jong Ki is not worthy of being a husband because he is so unfaithful, and that Katie's fate will be the same as Song Hee Kyo sooner or later. The reason why they call Jong Ki unfaithful is that during his wedding to Song Hee Kyo, the actor once swore, because she is Song Hee Kyo, I am determined to be with her for the rest of my life. Yet less than two years later, Song Jong Ki was determined to divorce the actress. However, we should not believe in groundless accusations because there are things that we outsiders cannot know and understand. Also related to Song Jong Ki and Song Hee Kyo, recently, a YouTuber revealed about the salaries of actors and actresses with certain reputation at the present, including Song Jong Ki and Song Hee Kyo, from which he made a conclusion that caused quite a lot of conflicting opinions. Number 2. The difference between actors and actresses' salaries. Munwa Ilbo's reporter An Jin Yang recently released a video on his YouTube channel revealing the highest paid Korean stars as of 2023. In the video, he reveals the estimated amount Korean actors and actresses are paid for each episode of their TV series. Specifically, Jin Yang mentioned actors such as Song Jong Ki, Lee Jong Suk, and Ji Chang Wook, revealing that they receive about 300 million Korean won per episode of the drama they participated in. He also further explained, the broadcasting rights fee of a 16-episode drama can amount to nearly 4.8 billion won to 5 billion won per country. About actresses, he also mentioned two S-listed names of the Korean entertainment industry, Song Hee Kyo and John Ji Hyun. Actresses receive less than actors. John Ji Hyun and Song Hee Kyo will earn about 200 million won for each TV episode they participate in. Jin Young also estimated that Song Hee Kyo's salary exceeded 200 million won thanks to the Glory's popularity and hopes that she will receive more for her next projects. This information immediately caused a lot of controversy right below the video as netizens are upset with the fact that actresses receive less than actors despite doing the same job, especially when the influence and commercial value of Song Hee Kyo is real big and has not shown any sign of decline for many years. Netizens' Comments 
It's completely unfair. I understand it's a form of unwritten rule, but it's unfair and needs to be changed. I'm annoyed that men make more money than women. The only reason why I watch The Glory is because of Song Hee Kyo, obviously many others do, but her salary is lower than many lesser known actors. Really curious why female salary is shorter than males? Song Jong Ki hasn't even reached S rank, and Ji Chang Wook hasn't acted in a hit drama for a long time, yet they still get paid very well. Well, even though tons of people are disgruntled and opposed to this issue, it looks like things won't change anytime soon. Number 3, Kim Young Hyun gets hate for his recent remark. At the end of January, the drama, Kokdu, Season of Deity, starring Soo Hyung and Kim Young Hyun was officially broadcast. This is the drama that marks the return of Kim Young Hyun after two years of hiatus due to a series of scandals. However, close to the date of the film's broadcast, there are tons of mixed comments about his reappearance as many still cannot forgive Kim Young Hyun. Two years ago, he was exposed for being impolite, even rude to his co-star Sale Hyun of the series time, as well as being irresponsible when leaving Midway causing a lot of trouble for the film crew. When being reprimanded, Kim Young Hyun turned the attention to his ex-girlfriend, actress Sale Yi Ji, saying that he had those behaviors because he was controlled and gaslighted by her in the past. Due to this testimony, Sale Yi Ji's career was seriously affected, and as a result, Kim Young Hyun was harshly criticized for blaming others for his fault. These shocking scandals had caused Kim Jung Hyun's rising career to stall, and quite surprisingly, in this comeback, the actor is back in another MBC drama. Worse, in the event to introduce the series, Kim Young Hyun again made statements that upset the public, causing him to lose even more brownie points. Specifically, when asked about his comeback on MBC after five years, he shared, Actually, I don't remember anything that happened five years ago. I'm very grateful to have been able to be back to MBC and appear at an event like this. Though his answer is rather vague, most netizens believe that the actor's intention is implying that he had forgotten the scandal with Sale Hyun in the past. Needless to say, they are very disgruntled, constantly questioning Kim Young Hyun. Not, I'm sorry, but, I don't remember. He said he doesn't remember anything. It seems that he hasn't reflected on his past actions yet. Things could have been better if he had said an apology, but he prefers jumping into trouble with such a statement. Well, though the drama hasn't been released yet and no one knows if it's good or bad, Kim Jung Hyun's statements really made it get noticed in an unexpected way. And now we will come to the last news of today's video. Number 4. Crash Course in Romance's Ratings Hit Peak. Crash Course in Romance is a romantic comedy series that is airing on TVN. Right from the time of the release of the first episode, the drama has caused a lot of controversies about the female lead Hang Seon, as John Doo Yeon. Many viewers believe that John Doo Yeon looks too old for her character and is so weird when standing next to the male lead. To explain her rather old image in the drama, some said that John Doo Yeon plays Hang Seon, a former national athlete, now becoming the owner of a small restaurant. She has to work hard to make a living, raising her retarded brother and her niece that was abandoned by her sister. As her life is hard, Hang Seon doesn't have time to take care of herself. This is the reason why she looks quite old Evan thaw she is just about 40 years old. For the second consecutive week, Crash Course in Romance took number one on Good Data Corporation's weekly list of the dramas that generated the most buzz. The company determines each week's rankings by collecting data from news articles, blog posts, online communities, videos, and social media about dramas that are either currently airing or set to air soon. In the latest episode, the rating increased sharply to 9.1%, promising to make the series become the first cable drama of 2023 to reach a two-digit rating. Not only did Crash Course in Romance top the list of most buzzworthy dramas, but its two leads Yoon Kyung-ho and John doo Yan also held onto their respective spots at number one and number two in the actor rankings. Not only that, many hilarious scenes of the drama also caused fever on many social networking platforms, this is a very good sign of K-drama land in 2023, isn't it? So, that's the end of today's video. How do you feel about Song Jung Ki and Katie getting married? Why do you think the salary of actresses is always less than that of actors? And do you support Kim Young Hyun's comeback? Please comment down below. And if you want more videos like this, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Bali Drama.